Chaos kiting the fight out, stunning heroes, and just playing for this slow fight where at some point Drow's gonna prop her ult three times in a row. That's not slow. Kill. This is the dieback. Atheon in trouble, starting to drop down low, but not dead yet. Bouncy oh, back and forth, and Seek Smile barely survives through that one. As they will find the arrow on to Hector, Manta jumps out, jumps He's back, back in. Chrono! Oh, he did it to him! And now Marana already hit, turns on the Ame, looks for a couple more punches. And Faith Beyond, he survived through so much of this, but as they chase him through the river, usually Slard are strong there. Not this time. A hundred seconds dead. The already in position. Jira. It's a nice thing. All right, there's an immediate find over on the boat of the supports. Two. Very nicely done. Double kill. I see Smiles though going forward. They're going to buy back. And there's the soul buying Carlos who's taking too much damage. He will indeed fall. Whisper with a beautiful arena over here. He's going to try. Oh, look at Cuckoo. He's just absolutely melting the sports over on the back lines as well. Will also fall. Cuckoo goes down. All of these arenas. Look at the buybacks coming out in mass. They finally get to jump back over here on the ground. Oh my word. Looking for Collapse, it gets a quick blink off. There's the drums to try to catch up. Collapse no sprint. sprint for another second, and that might cost him his life. He is going to get tossed and destroyed in midair. Toronto Tokyo gets... Okay, he epicentered in place. Didn't find anything with that. As he smile, staying on a little too long, I feel like. Phantom's Embrace stuck in place as a result. So it's a one for one, and now on the run is Team Spirit. The Mortimer's Kiss is doing a lot of damage to Toronto, Tokyo. There's the lasso inside that blood right. Nice setup overall. Double kill for K1 as he's trying to clean up the rest of Team Spirit. Triple kill K1. It nice is a blasts for your Torrent Storms and your boat combos. Though, a little strange that before you don't have similar defensive itemization, that might have to change in the near future. Although, at this point, who knows how much time they'll have to do so, right? Because if they lose one or two more fights, they've already lost two lanes of Braxton. Look at Matthew go, being obnoxious, getting in there. Widge will find the kill. They've taken down Vitaly already. He'll buy back quickly, though, but this is a problem. Yuma's dropping low. Can they keep him alive? They're certainly going to try to, but he's getting hit by that Torrent Storm. Dropped low, taken down, immediately buying back himself. He'll TP to the outpost, and now Gardic's going to look to reset things with the ult. Does manage to connect. They're on to Pekaz. That might just be enough to save the day here. Mm. I think Kaz gets taken down. Yep, Analog picks up the Ultra. And between Aye. the buybacks and the Ultra. Courier is flying in. They have the information of the location. And now Lumiere with Refresher BKB. Gonna get jumped on. Horn Toss comes out and no RP. BKB is coming out from Lumiere right away. There's their RP. He will get killed right away. And the Olicar to follow. Husker dropping low as well. Tries to get Afu. Afu will fall, but he's standing his ground with the Guardian Angel. He's trying to make some moves. He can't even hit the Tombstone. He's missing on the high ground. Paulus is gonna be popping his ulti as well, Moon. Now looking for an opening here onto the Husker guard. He's gonna be right there, but those zombies are annoying him. Mid one is bullying him. He's got the he's got the heavenly grace. To take down CDR, CDR down, Abaddon about to lose his life as well. No ulti remaining, trying to clear out some of the zombies as Analog walks in to save Gardic, but Gardic's already down, and Paulison will pop. That's a triple for Analog. Moon will go for the BKB, blink away, and get some distance off of Analog. Analog, the rate loss of this fight, he just can't go down. And mid one oh. tries to clip him, and he will, but he's instantly like breaking straight to the low ground to mid one step ultra for Analog. Not gonna find it quite yet. Though they are watching TA2000, oh. Analog, he'll make oh. the jump in. They do get the Eclipse off, but now the Ravage comes out, hitting really nobody on Toby. The Dusa still dropping low, but she seems to be just fine. With the Mana Pool, she'll reset. Analog's the one going down, though they will heal him up with the Soul Rip and the Grab Ally, just to ensure that he'll survive a little bit longer. But is it gonna be enough? Oh. Another Soul Rip on Analog, he's still running away. And Toby's the one to go down. Analog will survive another day. Fight for it. <laughs> I can see why they went for it. Yeah, the real, I think. What's the real the... problem, in my opinion, is just that the outer tower on the bottom lane was still down, and if you can always bring in people with one move, now again, King's Grip. Don't with the chain frost, he's about to run. Possibly he might go down here. They do get the kill into Hakoda though. And Afterlife gets pretty darn low. There's gonna be that nether strike onto the Pokemon with the nether ward being down as well. Whereas those nether blasts, Afterlife, he will fall. They don't find the base. No way, dudes. No way. It's gonna be Mankushi. You'll set to come out. They've got the lockdown. Does he have yeah, anything be... from this? No BKB. He is straight up dead. At least he does have that buyback, but they're gonna go for more now. And Gilga, <laughs> a five man wipe? Are you serious? Oh, right into S. So the silence immediately getting placed over to grab low. Do you have the rolling thunder? They are in position. Static Storm will hold down the uh, 
The Wraith King, the Gremlin, will fall almost immediately. Sammy was in the position. Oh, now he's going to be able to get protected just a little bit more thanks to that Legion. Divide chasing down. They get that Dream Coil. And they'll get the Snapdrag right back into a duel. That's the Dead Forsaken Oracle. As the rest of Arakash, they are just crawling away. But S also sitting a little bit low. Nice dodge. Oh, Divide Lava just cleaning up everyone here. Will be able to go trigger the reincarnation over onto the Wraith King. The Crow will find the opening. They'll finally kill out Ness. But Pale Horse, he's not looking too healthy. Ooh. So passive that Wild Card just walked into the pit. Uh, Oscar's gonna try and turn around here. He pops the Dark Ascension. They're looking to go after Sammy, but they can't even take the Bane down all that quickly. The Fiend's Grip gets turned onto Parker. They need oh, to be able to relocate him out of here, but they're not gonna be able to do so. Oscar dead. Parker gone. Alone is gonna zip in, but by the time he does, all of his teammates are already dead. There's, there really is just no fight here, and he used a lot of mana in the process here. He is gonna try to find a little avenue out, but he's just getting chased. They're gonna hit him up with the Orchid. They get onto him with the Avalanche. They should be able to finish this kill. The Decrep comes in, and... Lone falls as well, four heroes dead. The map, so they've got bottom and mid both pushing in towards Radiant base and trying to force now back and distract Liquid here. Oh, let's see. I, I thought for a second. TP cancel. TP cancel both. Cancel TPs. Schofield stops the Bristle and TA. They're pushing high ground. Schofield, he stops the defense. Liquid are going to have their base cracked wide open. This is such a big play. And the, also the fact that they were standing on top of each other. He had invis. Like, a lot of things need to align for you to do something like this. Well, they weren't expecting that, it, were It was they? just perfect. Spot on stuff from Schofield. And now Beast Coast, they're the ones to come back. TP React back onto the Snapfire and a dominating streak for Whisper. Well deserved tips already having blocked at least one ulti, so they know that, uh, they probably know that Fiend's Group is on cooldown for another 30 seconds. Here they go up to the high ground. They're just gonna go kill Hector, I guess. Uh, they saw Sunder, though. He should be fine. He's Sunder's a support, of course. Never Sunder in the enemies here. Uh, Sacred. Uh, trigger the A on this. No more damage for him. <laughs> that is the rolling Thunder done. Silver Edge completed for C-Smile as well, and they haven't lost Aegis in this first incursion. They have, however, been able to force two ultimates. That's a really big deal. Okay, silencing Ector once again, Ector. no Sunder this time. They need some way to save him. They have nothing, they're stunning him. Ector, they forced oh. him forward, but that's not going to save his life. In fact, Ector's down. He almost has used as well. That's going to be C-Smile's first life as Whisper also falls. Gojira comes in towards the end though with an Echo Slam, catches three. That's all three cores, they're <laughs> down. Only some forts are left. Gojira, he says, we can, they say we can only play four protect one. Watch me let my carry die. Who cares about him? <laughs> my true carry is the Lena now. Yeah, and it looks like this time Sacred's not going to be able to escape. He's got a Yule Scepter for himself, but no chance to use it. Perma stun and killed as Whisper's now going to drop the dip. Let's go field. We'll scout this one out. Well, stands Ooh. his ground with us in a punch. Nyx Assassin. He's still not dead yet. He's actually, he bails on four! There's no way he lives here, this right? Is There's a no rabbit. way. There's Please no kill way he him. Lives this, he it's can't keep getting away with this. He can't away with it! How is this possible? Meanwhile, Thunder goes in, looking for Dark Nago. Dark Nago has the arena. He'll get it off in time there on three, but he's already dead. Now he's inside the arena. Sacred goes in. Thunder falls out. Yamsun and Moo are still on the inside. The arena expires. Sacred runs in. He's half HP. Rooted by Yamsun. In comes Lelis as well. Stunned with a stop with a Yule from Timber Saw. In comes K1, looking to man fight. He becomes angry and red, looking to cleave. But Thunder's cutting him around. Now he's retreat. Lelis has been caught. He's being slapped by K1, impaled by Schofield to ever concede out of spite until the very end, but we're 17 minutes in and it feels like the end is already approaching because RRL is going to get tossed out of his own damn base. They're going to go for the high ground push and what means Ooh. do they have to stop Static? Doesn't catch, well actually it did catch oh. there, but it doesn't matter. He still just loses his life. HFN does not care. This snowball eventually will connect, but with the Sunder up, he doesn't have enough damage to find the kill. Nope, and during all of that... A lot about this is uh, particularly dramatic, although, never mind, there's going to be a lasso. They get the pull back. How far can he take the Medusa? Well, maybe now you wish he had gone for Roshan, because HFN is dead with no second life. They did finally manage to finish off that Rax, though, so at least there's that, but they need to kill Paradise. If they can do that, maybe then this will end the game. Paradise, though, still fighting, but there's going to be the roar into the Kisses. They will find the kill. That might just be the end of it. Seuss is going to lead this charge now. They don't have HFN, but they may not need him if they can clean up all the kills. Okay, he's down. The Warden dropping. 
Not dead just yet, though, but Fade does go down off to the west. He does have a buyback, however, he's going to rejoin as the Warden goes in, takes down Suits. Ah. The pressure on the mid and the top and just let, uh, let Tavo do the pushing. So now they can get their objective base. Just Kezu, a little too close. Sinister Gaze pulling him back in, trying to play oh, around Tavo. the smoke screen, but a long jump down. And Tavo, he'll get the roar over on Livestealer, but the two cores focusing on the Beast Master. The fish is done. They control Brian. He gets one more attack here, but Tavo is still alive. They're trying to hit him with the Mortimer's Kids as he's actually taunting while trying to dodge the attacks. Cannot do it, however. It ends up being a one for one trade off. Bro, well, I, I, I think the Beast Master. Oh, God. ADR, you try and play the back lines, they glimpse him back into the storm, the wall comes up, but the wall not up in time, that's why they have to let the cookie jump do the work, but the Echo Slam and the Chain Frost, this one's not bouncing away, it's staying with Kezu. A double kill now for KG, and the quick Uber away will get Kezu out to safety.